Well, I was going to ask you, because I just saw The Wizard of Lies, mm -hmm. so I can actually, um, as an informed audience member who um, has been privileged enough to see <laughs> The Wizard of Lies, which is an extraordinary and very surprising two hours of um, a story you thought you knew. Mm. And I... Uh, I am actually genuinely interested, not because someone told me to ask you. And you know what? a little bit about this story yes. because you did a play, mm -hmm. uh, which I didn't see. <laughs> it's okay. Which was it somewhat was a sort about of, this. So. Yeah, similarly sort of based yeah. on these events. Also, of, I of think the that people from New York are very familiar with this story. Mm -hmm. It's such an interesting, interesting idea to take on a part that people um, think, you know, I think that must mm. be interesting for you because I think what I learned about Ruth Madoff was everybody thought they knew her. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so it's, it's another complexity <clears throat> to playing a real person. And it must have been <sighs> wonderfully it, challenging, I it, guess. It was, it was really daunting, honestly. And um, I was offered the part, and it was Barry Levinson, and it was Robert De Niro, and it was, uh, of, of course... Um, disappointments. Horrible yeah, disappointments. Yeah, yeah. One disappointment <laughs> after another. And it wasn't until after I committed to it that it occurred to me that I was playing a real person, and it was the first time that I had ever done that. Mm -hmm. And I... And somebody who had already been through so much tragedy, and I knew was somewhere in the world trying to heal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And... I knew this was probably the last thing in the world she would want. And, of course, I thought, can I get out of this? <laughs> and I felt horrible, and um, I couldn't because I had made a commitment, and so... Um, so what do you decide when, you're, when you are playing a character as, as unique as Ruth Madoff, who is alive, um, I, how do you... I mean, because there's lots of ways to approach it. I mean. I would assume your immediate intention was she is a human being who um, did or did not, was not, was or was not complicit in this unthinkable thing, right, mm -hmm. that her husband did. Mm -hmm. And so your job is to, were you wanting her to be as human for us? Did well, it matter to you? Do you know what I mean? Like, were yeah. you trying to defend her? Were you trying See, but to... See, it's interesting that right now you say was not complicit, but... Was or was not? Was not okay. complicit. And... I think that um, the consensus is that she was, and um, almost everyone, th and, and I think that that's what I hoped, I, that at the end of the day I could represent her story um, as honestly as possible, and um, because I don't think that I mean, look, it's not the Ruth, it's not the Ruth Madoff story, but you know, and so there's a limited amount of time. But um, but it's uh, you know, she's integral because he isn't Bernie Madoff without Ruth Madoff. Mm -hmm. It's it's very possible if you removed her from his life, that the, there would not be this narrative. It's very possible that the partnership allowed for a Bernie Madoff. I mean, in every way, the virtuous, if you can find it, as well as the Machiavellian. You know what I mean? So she's important, is what I'm saying. Well, I, maybe I it's not called the Ruth Madoff story, yeah, but yeah. I think she's very important in this story. Well, I think uh, you know, in terms of the business side of it, she really didn't have any anything to do with it. I mean, in the beginning, she did. I think she did some bookkeeping for mm -hmm. him. Um, but I mean, more emotionally, like they were very reliant. They were upon very bonded. I mean, she, she, he was her first and only love, and he was as she says, in her, you know, hit her life. And it was him and, and those two boys.